Champion snow roller J.D. McAwesome Sauce and his assistant Kent are going for the world record. Uh, that's Team Captain Kent. Yes, indeed. Perfect weather for breaking records. A foot of fresh, fluffy, dangerous, freezing, sparkling snow. Let's have a look downfield. Yes, fans, this record is about to be broken. That's right, Assistant Team Captain. Right, Assistant Team Captain. JD? Huh? Wow! Look at this! Is this some meteorite crater? No, JD! They're giant footprints! Okay, Joelle. Catch the booty on your left booty. 0.89 radians. Ready! <laughs> Run, hide, get a bus out of town! It's, it's the Whomper! Right outside! Ah! <laughs> a little friction would come in handy right about now! <laughs> Kent and JD, you're funny. Save the baby. Nikki's little cousin isn't a baby. Ugh, babysitting. Yay. What are you boys saying about a womper? The womper, sir. Or more accurately, the womp stomper of Western Wompshire Woods. Legend says it's a weird wilderness creature which wipes out whatever's in its way whenever it walks. How do you know all that, Von Bolt? I have Wi-Fi. And I'm shopping online for tea cozies right now. Yeah, the Wumper is a stupid old myth. It was until we discovered it. And it's big! Really, really big! With huge teeth! And tentacles with suckers! And dark fur everywhere! And green scales! And eyeballs that shoot lasers! It eats boulders! Sometimes donut trucks! Yeah, and it has big, big lips and wears strawberry lip gloss. And a yellow romper with the cutest little clutch purse. This does not compute. JD, you may have let your imagination run away with you just a tiny bit. Imagination? It smashed me to bits. Well, look, it smashed my candy bar. Incoming, Kent. Ugh. Over here now. Show them the footprint, JD. See? Proof. Scientifically proven. <laughs> Looks like the Whomper has two ugly heads and is unbelievably dweeby. <laughs> My head is aching like an overcooked spargel. Von Bolt, why don't you take Joelle outside? The fresh air will make you feel much better. <laughs> Let's play some more! Don't do it, Von Bolt. You'll be doomed. There's got to be a logical explanation. The Whomper is just a legend. Really? How then do you explain where bears go in the winter? Hibernation? Ha! They're actually stomped into the ground. And where do potholes come from? Maybe the Whomper stomps the road and feeds the broken pavement to its young. And try to explain why the purple dynamo is vulnerable to apple butter. Off topic, dude. Mr. Edison, please tell them they're dweebies. I will say that when you've exhausted all possibilities, remember this. You haven't. See, Mr. Edison agrees with us. Not exactly, J.D. He said exhaust all possibilities. Maybe it was an ordinary animal. That's possible, right? I suppose you can name all the animals in the world? Actually, Carl Linnaeus can. He was a scientist who created the system to identify every living thing. Yeah, let's settle this with the virtual reality window. The Whopper can't stop us there. Right, looky there. Visitors. Hello. We're looking for Carl Linnaeus. Why, that is me. And this is my cousin, Leif Erikson. Um, where? Yo, Leif? He's right here, you silly Billy. Hello. That is not his hand. 
That is his nose. Your cousin's a plant? Don't you know that we are related to all living things? Here's my Uncle Claude, here's my auntie, and Grandpa Fergus. He's a fun guy. Mr. Linnaeus, the boys think they saw an imaginary, mythical, and possibly ridiculous monster, so just tell them they're wrong so we can leave, okay? Nikki, let's be fair. You're the expert in classifying all the plants and animals. <laughs> well, I do my best. So you'll know if we've discovered a new terrifying creature. Or if it's just an ordinary animal. Proving that the boys are, in fact, dweeboids. What did this amazing beast look like? Well, it might have scales. Scales? Did somebody say scales? <laughs> Let's classify the animals with scale. Here's a scaly operator of the genus Alligator, and his species is immense. Its name is Mississippi, and since his family is from Florida, their name is Alligatorida. They'll meet their cousins later, every caiman, croc, and gator, in the order Crocodilia, within the class Reptilia, with lizards, snakes, and turtles. Can this song get any sillier? If a gecko or a rattler, a chameleon or an adder didn't make it in, my song, well, then it really doesn't matter. First the kingdom, you divide them. Everything inside a phylum. Then to simplify the masses, they are classified in classes. Which are sorted handily by order and by family. I mean, it's easy peasy. Every genus needs a species. If it isn't in the song, well, then it really doesn't matter. Matter, 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 First the kingdom, you divide them. Everything inside a phylum. Then to simplify the masses, they are classified in classes. Which are sorted handily. By order and by family. I, I mean, mean it's easy peasy. Every, Every genus needs a species. If you haven't seen your monster yet, it really doesn't matter. Matter, 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 matter. matter, matter, matter. See, we did discover a completely new creature. No, that's exactly the opposite of what Linnea said. If it's not on his list, it doesn't exist. Can we stop rhyming now? Kent, let's capture the Wumper ourselves. Excuse me for just a moment. Sorry, Kent's not here. The Wumper is nearby. I can sense it. <laughs> I only came along so I can laugh at you later. Shush! The Wampers right there! I don't think this is a good idea. Kent, are you afraid of your own shadow? The Wampers! What's the matter with this thing? Move on to right! <laughs> Joel, guys! <laughs> Maybe there really is a Whopper! We've got to open the door for Joel! No, no! The Whopper's right outside! No footprints. No. <gasps> the the Wumper! Ah! Oh, open up. Open up. Open up. Let us in. It's breaking in. No, what if it's Joel? Grab 
my feet. Metal door, meet unstoppable magnet. <gasps> the Whopper is magnetic. We're doomed. The Whopper. It's really real. And it's right over. Here's a good spot for making more snow angels. to join us back in the lab to make hot cocoa. Well, I think the important thing to learn from this whole adventure is that I was right all along. Welcome to my secret lab.